Let's do a little bit of a warm up movement session and review before we transition on to section three. This is a bonus for all my Bagua practitioners out there. Let's go both stance to the left, sink it down and hold. To the right, same thing. The legs are so important in Bagua, the footwork, the stepping, the legs. We have to have good legs for Bagua. Sitting back on the heels, nice and low. Other side. Come up to horse stance, drop the horse stance down so the butt is down and the legs are flat, parallel to the ground. And yawn, fu, shu, pao, pi, liao, tiao, lo shuan, heaven, lake, fire, thunder, wind, water, mountain, earth. Both hands, yang, fu, shu, pao. Pi, Liao, Tiao, Lo Shuan. And sing for one minute, deep breathing, and hold. That's our brief warm up. Feel free to do that two, three, four, or even five sets in a row. Let's go on to review of section one and two fluidly, seamlessly, doing both sides. I hope you guys get up and can practice it with me. We've got some traditional Buddhist incense burning, so if you guys see the smoke come into shot, that's setting the mood for today's Bhagwa Jhana practice. I'm going to talk us through it from the bow. Step out left, riding the horse, ask the way. Turn to the right, under the leaves, hide the flowers. Wild ducks come out as a flock and turn with a good rooted leg position, and one, two, three, four, five, six steps today because of the size of my space. Purple swallow throws the scissors tail. Shut the door, push the moon, and the other side. Under the leaves, hide the flowers. Wild ducks out as a flock. Turn, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm on this side. Purple swallow throws the scissors tail. Shut the door, push the moon. And we're going to section two. Under the leaves, hide the flowers. Wild ducks out as a flock and turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Purple swallow throws the scissors tail. Shut the door, push the moon. Vicious tiger comes out of the cage. Precious chicken spreads the wings. Move the flowers. Graft the stem behind the head. Lift the crown against the chest. Hug the moon, repeat it. Under the leaves, hide the flowers. Wild ducks out as a flock. Turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Purple swallow throws the scissors tail. Shut the door, push the moon. The vicious tiger out of the cage. Precious chicken spreads the wings. Move the flower, graft the stem. Behind the head, lift the crown. And against the chest, hug the moon. Come back and down. I'm not much concerned right now with you beginners doing section one and two with which side of the circle you're doing purple swallow on. If you notice, I changed up a bit in there. I want you guys to work on the movements and feel the freedom to do purple swallow. Shut the door, push the moon on any side of the circle you want, and I will focus you all up once we get past about section six. Let's move on right now to section three together. Let's pick up section three exactly where section two left off with against the chest, hug the moon right here. Solid leg position. You guys, the form training of the fundamental Bagua is conditioning our legs. Like you would do yoga and you would do warrior pose. You have to try to hit those stances deep and Bagua is no different. Hit that pose nice and solid. It's gonna build our leg power for sparring and fighting later on, but also for life, for conditioning and health. Beginning of section three, under the leaves, hide the flowers. Wild ducks out as a flock. Down and turn and walk the circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Hands toward the center the whole time. Purple swallow throws the scissors tail, hook out, 
and press, we've done this before in section two, shut the door and push the moon. Now from here, the white dove shoots into the sky. We step forward right, right hand goes up, left hand goes down. And my hands are in this position, like a tiger claw, but two fingers out. You guys see that? Okay, I'm not giving you the finger, I'm giving you the babo finger, you know what I'm saying? So one hand goes up this way, the other hand flips over and goes down this way. We're gonna be blocking a punch or an arm that way and coming underneath somebody with fingers or open palm this way, separate. So one down, one up, like this. Back of the hands facing out, okay? So return to purple swallow throws its scissors tail. Return to shut the door, push the moon. Right leg steps forward for white dove, shoots into the sky. Now we circle the right hand, one, two, using that back and stomach mobility. And on three, we spin the whole body around and posture right here with our feet kind of contorted, left foot in front. The left hand is resting at the hollow of the back. The right hand is resting where the hairline is. Step forward with the left and against the chest, hug the moon, left foot forward. Now right foot steps forward. The virgin donates the book. So they're a virgin, so they hide their face from all the suitors that would try to capture them, okay? So hide the face with the veil, and it's virgin donates the book. Donate the book. From there, Grand Mountain presses the head. We flip to cat stance. Left hand comes to the Dantian, below the navel. Right hand comes on top, this way. So we're gonna do this again, facing the other direction. So if you guys go to the back view, you'll see this more in detail, but we're right here. Stomach and head. Left foot forward, cat stance. Now, left foot steps out one. Right foot whips around to horse stance here. And we go like this with the hands this way. The black bear stretches its back. Just going like this. You can go any kind of speed you want, but you're trying to kind of feel that mobility in your lower back. In the morning time, this is working out all those cobwebs. So we're kind of rolling the back, kind of like the twerking of Bagua, moving that stomach side to side. A lot of golfers do this to learn how to isolate upper body and how to divide it from lower body, creating what we call X factor. In swinging type sports, the more X factor you have, the more power you have. So we're rolling right here. Black bear stretches its back. Now, since the right leg stepped around the horse, the right hand goes first. Now we flip this hand around this way, block down, and jab, palm up. And this is the eight man picks the peaches. So block down and jab left. Eight men picks the peaches. Now, somebody saw you pick them, so you retreat into cat stance and this elbow comes down. Eight man sits in the cave. Now, this hand locks down as that foot comes down. Step, right hand comes up as left leg comes up and left hand hits back. And this hand extends. So we're in this really extended, balanced posture here called the Chiling vomits the book. I'll tell you the story of the Chiling later. The Chiling vomits the book. Left knee up, right arm forward, left arm back. From that position, drop into reverse bow stance. Let me get to where you guys can see. Drop down low, and the flying swallow plays in the water, right here. Kind of brush the water with both hands. Move to forward bow, and against the chest, hug the moon, right here. Now we have to repeat that on the other side. It's a little bit faster on the other side. Try to stick with me. Under the leaves, hide the flowers. Wild ducks out as a flock and turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Purple swallow throws the scissors tail. Shut the door, push the moon. White dove shoots to the sky. Left hand one circle two circle and spin right here now against the chest hug the moon right here right side forward the virgin donates the book left hand donating right hand is the veil left foot is forward from there we go back this way and the grand mountain presses the head 
Right hand by Dantian, left hand forward, right leg in cat stance. Step right, step around left, black bear stretches its back. Since the left leg stepped around, left hand, yellow eagle claws the eyes. Left foot steps forward, right hand, yellow eagle claws the eyes. Now right hand flips, block down, eight man picks the peaches, eight man sits in the cave, then one step and block, second step left, chilling, vomits the book, extend both arms, raise the knee up, not peeing dog, keep it tight. From there, drop down, flying swallow, plays in the water, so brush the water, and against the chest, hug the moon. This is the longest section so far, but you guys are black belts now. You're ready for this. You've trained your mind, body, and spirit to prepare for this kind of training. We haven't even begun to apply these moves toward the fight yet. First is learning form, second is learning fight. First must walk, second must run. Nature's rule, not mine. Let's go do the same posture as section three from the back view to give you guys a different and better angle. <laughs> 